Well, in part two, Michelle is, she now wakes up in Romania and she's becoming a vampire and has her sister, calls her sister to come and rescue her. Um, whereas in part three, she's now starting to really be more comfortable with this new state of her, this new world of undead that she's entered and begins to have more power over Radu, the evil vampire. Basically, she finds out that he is the only person that is like her. He's, he becomes her mentor, her, her idol, and she basically wants to learn everything, all of his powers, so that she can then control him. She's a smart one. We shot part two and part three the same time. We shot them back to back, and my character, Michelle's character, was not just a regular humanoid that progresses through two films basically staying the same. She physically and emotionally changes, so I may shoot one scene where I'm going for an attack on some guy right for the jugular, no remorse, and then we'll break for dinner, we'll come back, and I'll shoot a scene where the sight of blood completely, uh, you know, scares me to death. So I'd have to keep track, okay, where is she? Is she pure vampire here? Is she part human, part vampire here? Well, actually, I've got a good blood thing going. I've just finished Blood Fist, a kickboxing film. I've got Bloodstone, Bloodlust. Um, I did Hell Comes to Frogtown, the sequel. I reprised Sandal Bergman's role. Um, I've, played, I've played a couple witches before, too. I don't know. I kind of like these sort of occult, immortal characters. I, I personally do believe in vampires. They're just exceptionally powerful souls. They just have a weakness and a vice, which is blood. <laughs>